All right, so I nearly got the whole motor wired up with the wiring specialties harness that I got. I really have to give it to them because their, uh, their, their harness was really easy, great plug and play, and the instructions that they have online are just phenomenal. So that really helped a lot. So this is, everything's pretty much wired up. I've got a boost solenoid that I need to install, but otherwise everything is already hooked up. Oil, temperature, pressure, um, all of that stuff. I still need to do the, uh, the O2 bung. But you can see here in the firewall where I drilled the hole for the harness to come through pretty much right there behind the motor. So it is kind of hidden back there. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, and then the wires just come on, come on around. Uh, I'll show you here in the car. So we've just got the plugs for the ECU and a few miscellaneous things coming right here um, from that firewall location. And what I'm working on right now is building the panel that's gonna hold the ECU and all the relays and stuff, so I'll show you that. All right, so this is how it's looking right now. I've got the ARC uh, switch panel here. That is pretty sweet. It looks like this. So those are some nice switches that'll go on the dash. Yeah, those, are work, those will work nice, but all the relays are right here and all the fuses. So that makes it really easy. You just need your positive lead coming off, going to whatever you need. I've got these distribution blocks here that's gonna provide power to a lot of things. I've got another one for a ground. And then this uh, little harness here came with the wiring specialties harness. That's gonna be for my two fans and fuel pump and then everything else. So I've got uh, six extra re relays here for headlights and whatever else I need relays for. I'm sure I'll need a lot more but just to get the motor started, this is kind of all I need. So I'm gonna cut this little square out here um, and get start getting everything screwed down, and then we'll be able to mount this to the, uh, the trans tunnel on the passenger side. All right, so I got the plastic mounted to the trans tunnel with a few um, rib nuts. That is good. You saw I stripped a few of them, so that was kind of sucky, but uh, it's secured now. Uh, now I'm gonna drill the hole for the uh, battery kill switch, one of the many that I'll have on the car, and I'm gonna put it on the, uh, the panel I have here. Okay, 
So this ECU, unfortunately, does not have any mounting tabs along the side, so I can't just easily screw it in. They sell a mounting bracket for these, but it's, it's 30 bucks. It's actually not that expensive, but I just don't really feel like buying that. It looked kind of bulky and it might not fit on this. So I built this little bracket here, really easy, really thin metal. Um, I'll actually wrap, probably vinyl wrap this black, um, but it fits over like this. Now I can mount it. Um, so I'm gonna drill two holes and bolt this on. All right, so I got the holes drilled in the bracket um, and I actually just went ahead and took some black duct tape and lined the bottom of this bracket here. Um, that way it'll give it some um, some texture and this, this surface, it won't really let the ECU slide around um, as well as it won't scratch up the sides of it. So I just use black duct, duct tape and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top of this black. All right, so the next goal is to get these uh, kind of power distribution blocks mounted and they're pretty much going to go right here somehow and what's great about these is so one will be power and one will be ground and this one will be hooked up basically to the positive from the battery after my kill switch um, or my battery disconnect so the key um, and so this will be activated whatever the keys in there so that's pretty much constant 12 volts and then this will be hooked up to the ground uh, of, from the battery. So my idea is I'm going to run the ground from the battery to my chassis in the back. So that'll be okay, decent ground, but from that ground I'm going to have um, probably a t still a two gauge running all the way up to at least this ground distribution block. And then from here I can connect several different uh, grounds into it. So um, I'm going to have a lot of grounds from several different places, the chassis, a um, couple from the block, maybe not super big wires that the block uh, connects to the chassis with, but I'm gonna at least have a smaller ground from uh, that ch the chassis to this distribution block. So everything will technically be tied into the battery ground directly. So it's not like I'm grounding the block to the chassis up at the front, and then there's no connection from that to the back other than the chassis. So I'll still have a wire at least coming to this distribution block. Um, I know that's a lot uh, to talk about, but that's the idea here is to have basically two blocks that are semi-connected or directly connected to the battery and it'll be really great to have them here. So I'm gonna basically screw them in kind of like you see and this wire here will screw directly in to the power. So it'll be a short little run there and so I'll just cut this off and get this screwed in and we'll get that going. All right, so as, as you know, I've got this uh, relay panel here. I went and bought this piece of plexiglass and what I'm going to do in order to protect this relay panel since um, it kind of is in the passenger footwell area I'm going to put this piece of plexi over top of it um, and I'm going to add some spacers and bolt it to uh, the plastic here so as it sits right now it would you know basically cover it but what I want to try to do is also bend the edges down so that it does kind of enclose the entire um, board here. So we're going to try heating up this plexi. I'm going to cut a slit out of this side so hopefully both of these ends can fold down and because these are the only two sides that I need to fold over because that side we've got ports and it's towards the firewall and this side's going to have wires coming to it as well so we don't need that side covered. Just these two. So we're going to try and bend, heat it up and bend it down.
All right, so this is for the second side. Man, that came out really good. Protects the edges. One little tip, I don't think you need um, tin foil because it actually kind of left some kind of uh, def deform in the, uh, the plastic there, but overall it turned out really good. So now we've got this PVC pipe here that is going to act as a spacer to let us bolt that down and this was like a dollar fifty at the local hardware store uh, Home Depot actually okay so I've got my spacers laid out in the order that I want them and I'm actually gonna have a, another one there in the middle but now I just need to drill the holes for where I'm gonna put them and then I'll transfer those to the plexi so here is the uh, relay panel and ECU mount um, it's mounted in the car and I pretty much got it all done you can see um, I've got the positive block here. Um, this is the positive from the battery. And then this ground is from the battery as well. So this um, relay board needed a ground. So it is grounded to this. Also needed a power. So these two are go going in. And yeah, everything is looking really good. And I also drilled the holes for the um, plexi shield. So let me go ahead and throw this on. All right, and so um, I didn't bolt it in, but you can see I can just add bolts to the top here um, all the way around. And so I just did the four corners and so um, it's protected. So that's really good. Yeah, so really everything is pretty much hooked up for me to uh, get the motor started. Um, I think next I'm gonna go ahead and test the, uh, the fuel pump, throw some fuel in the fuel cell and make sure there's no fuel leaks. Um, I have my doubts about the um, injector rail because I, I did have to do a little bit of modification to get that to work right, so I want to test it. But yeah, this uh, this box came out really good. Mounts to the trans tunnel with just three uh, rev nuts. All right, so that's where I'm going to end it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.